Bowie. Bowie. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boomy? Yes, do you. I'm still I here, Bobo. I can't see Mom. She must not be there. We're not eye level. She must have run out. Welcome, fam. There's not even anybody in there. It is six o'clock. These people are late. <gasps> My bees are going down. Here are those. Y'all don't know. I was growing like another arm. So it's cats. I think it was like a uh, wolverine, like, didn't they have the thingies? Ladies and gentlemen, we got Bowie in the house. Bowie to the stage. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Want to get down? Yes, you go blue. Wait, oh, you don't want to get down? Here, go lay in your bed. Good job. Ugh. All right, you guys. Today, I'm going to show you how we package our artwork for shipping. I'm going to use a this. And I'm doing this because I shipped that many paintings today. Whoa. You can't see from there, but it's like 97 packages. Package. Okay, so I'm going to show you how we ship our resin paintings, which is pretty similar to most Hello, everything. everybody. Hello, everybody. Your comments don't stay up, so I can't read them. Tutors are gonna pull it up and read them. Let me know if you can hear me or can't or whatever. So, first thing we do because it's resin and we are in a live studio is uh, I wipe it off really well because we have a lot of spray paint fallout that gets on everything. Dusting, sanding, spray painting, a little painting, bit of everything. Painting. So yeah, after I wipe it off. I will evaluate what I want to do with the sides. Since it's alcohol ink and the sides are super fun, I'm going to leave them raw. Otherwise, we'll flip this over on a just trash towel, put some pressure on, and spray paint the sides uh, an accentuating color. But I'm not doing that on this one because I like the sides. Then you got to figure out where you want to sign it. Most resin or fluid art abstract work. You can hang it all sorts of different ways. It doesn't really matter. But um, since this is really one way to hang it, I would sign it right here. Since it's a thicker pen, I'm gonna sign it on the side. I always sign it on the bottom right of how I would recommend that the piece be hung on the wall. I oh, gotta zoom in on my crappy signature. So we're signed and we're wiped off. Now, uh, I don't ship resin less than two weeks from when I poured it. And I always test the side of it. I'll put, I'll try to put like an indentation with my nail in there. If you can still see an in, like a mark from your nail after you push, then your resin's not cured enough for shipping. And what that means is you're gonna pick up some texture from your packaging. So then, I'll wrap it in some very smooth packaging paper. And then, I wrap it in saran wrap. Pardon me, Bowie. Pardon, pardon. Um, my packaging table used to be over here, so that's why my big saran wrap roll is over here. Notice that it's purple. Ooh, ah. I'm trying to create as little texture on the front as possible, but if some gets there, it's not that big a deal because it is fully cured. Then it's time to 22 people, only five thumbs up. Come on, people, you guys are slacking. That's rude. I know it's only Monday, but come on. So the size of this round is 12 inches, but the size of this box is 13 inches. That's gonna give me some wiggle room to pad the sides so that nothing gets damaged in transit. I get most of my boxes. Well, if we're, if we're fair, a large 
percentage of them come from Amazon. I will reuse boxes as best I can. So if you get a box that's like, it's got Amazon on it or a little Katie motorboat Glitter. back there. He has a cute little motorboat. That's why. I reuse as much as I can. Packaging, all of it gets reused. Do you guys by chance deliver it to the institution of correctional facilities in Pennsylvania? Uh, I don't know what all they accept into the correctional institution in Pennsylvania. I'll ship it there. Gosh, Bowie. But I can't guarantee that they'll accept it. Bowie. What yeah. is he growling at? He's growling at Tudor. Um, I would love to say that I did ship to the correctional facility of Pennsylvania. So put an order in and hopefully they'll accept it once I ship it to you. I always seal in every open space on my boxes. A lot of people just do this strip in the middle, mm -hmm. but I always seal everything in because if water gets in, I don't want it to warp my, my piece. So now I'm gonna use some of this packaging material that is not recycled, but upcycled. I call it upcycled. That's from Stone Coat. Yeah. This is just very thick craft paper. If I was shipping this, um, and it was like time deadline and it was still kind of soft, I would put a big, like a, a sheet of cardboard in here that separates the paper from my piece so that it doesn't pick up this texture because if this is soft, and I put this in here and packaged it really tight and shipped it, it would pick up the texture a little bit. P.S. Pro tip, if you receive a resin piece that has a little bit of texture, if you're packaging for an art show and it has a little bit of texture, you can hit it lightly with a heat gun and it'll pull that texture out. Usually, Jeff did a video on that a while back. We, I did it, I did it with, uh coasters because we were, we were made coasters and we let them set for i don't know two or three days possibly even five and we put the backs on them i stacked them wrapped them up took them to the art fair and you could see the little indentations but i had a heat gun with me and just lightly hit that with the heat gun the top of those were where the little indentions are and it completely went away. So yeah, um, you can also put a sheet of glassine, I think it's called. Ow. Do you know Mr. Smith? Hey. How sharp are your canvas? What? <laughs> Excuse me. Do Look you how... have any great poop on <laughs> <laughs> What? I could kill you an instant. But I'll let you know. <laughs> So that's how I package my bees. What was the question? Somebody's asking if we know Mr. Smith. How sharp are your canvases? Sharp? Not that sharp. They look like this on the edges. They're uh, right angle canvases. They're not routered. You Vamp can router is, them. Vamp is deleting this person's yeah. messages. Mr. Smith. Yeah, he said that word. Oh, well, okay. Well, that's cute. We don't tolerate that in here. We got troll patrol in the house. Um, I just wiped the canvas off with 70% alcohol. You can do 90% or higher. So yeah, that's how I package our artwork for shipping. It's pretty consistent across all the mediums that we do, whether it's a portrait that Jeff's done, alcohol inks, resin. We'll wrap them just the same. Pat them just the same. You don't want to hear any wiggle when you ship them. Because wiggle means there's voids and that's when you get damage. We don't want no damage. Mm -mm. But if you're new here, let me show you my shop. Let's have a look-see. Come kind of with a tip on YouTube for your search. 
I'm gonna check out what Tudor's talking about. What? Kind of look, Kelly. Tip on YouTube, put your search name of channel and what you're searching for, it and it should pull up. It's true. You guys, we have a a little over fifteen colors in our shop. Oh, just a couple. Of 15. <laughs> uh, fifteen on this shelf. Fifteen. Mm -hmm. I think the last count I did was eight hundred and twenty colors, and then we try to carry at least six of the not so popular colors, and then up to sixty of the more popular colors at one time. Um, most of our pigments are out of Australia and they are on super lockdown. So Again. super lockdown. Yeah, they're on super no still, but worse. Looks like we're a little bit out on a couple colors. Well, that's what I was getting to is exports are uh taking a little bit longer than usually do. So I expect a just resin shipment this week. And a resin art shipment this week. Well, we have plenty of stir sticks, guys. We stir do. sticks. Tudor's got stir sticks. Yeah. We do. We got plenty of glitters. Halloween is coming up. Got to get that orange and black and purple, purple. and green. And vamp. And vamp. And vamp. That's a color. That should be a color. We can make it a color. Purple and green glitter. Black, blue, black glitter. <whistles> Bewitched. <whistles> awesome. Not today. I would if I wasn't behind on shipping out. Yeah, buddy. We got lots of glitter. Lots of this stuff, too. I wish I wish we could go along with this stuff and it would have a little QR code and then it would just bring it up. And then people could just click on it. Dink 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 dink. That would be interesting. Twig. Alright, well. Should we put should we tell them that we have these? I made these today. These are twenty-four inch new geodes. These are on our clear cast acrylic brand new never seen before they're not on the website yet but if you guys would like them on there we can put those on there we do have some uh, stone coat countertop art coat resin plenty of that to sell on our website. All this stuff is on our website, artisttilldeath.com. Lots of chameleons. And for Halloween. Oh, Halloween. If y'all don't have a Halloween shirt, can I grab this one. Grab these. I'm an artist till death. It's so funny. I I just realized this year why that is backwards. Because he made the ink white instead of making the skull white <laughs> that's funny all right you guys thanks for joining us on this short little tip tip um tomorrow is two o'clock tuesdays we'll be going live at two o'clock 2 p.m um yeah two o'clock tuesdays be kind of one another you never know what somebody's going through and always remember, we do the test. Oh, so you don't have to. <laughs> I was like, that's too low of an octave. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You guys have an awesome Monday. Stay safe. That's what the shirt looks like on. There's, there it is on. <laughs> That'll be twenty five dollars. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I got it for you. You guys have an awesome day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I say bye. Bye-bye.